Morning everyone, it's 10 to 7, we are on day 34. Um, today we're moving from Appertin to a place called Bezdan, so we're one hop closer to the border with Hungary, we'll put us in within kind of distance of the border of Hungary. I've, Milos is waiting for me outside and um, yeah, I've just had another look at the route. This one, there's a couple of options again here of ways that we might go. There's a sort of slightly longer route that goes into the wilderness or a slightly more direct route. Um, which sort of goes, follows more sort of roads and stuff. So I'm going to see what Milos thinks about that. Um, my instinct is to take the direct route just for the mileage today. You know, we put in a big day yesterday, but we will see if it's not too far. I'd, I'd rather run on the nicer trails, but I have to manage the distance and water and all that kind of stuff sensibly. So yeah, today I, you know, I slept well last night. And I think, I think if we go the direct route, it's about 25 kilometers. So that would be a nice one to have done. You know, it'd be nice to be finished by 10 today and to be able to then have a whole day to recover before we sort of go into Hungary. Because Hungary has got some very, very meaty sections. We've got a few 30s and 40s that we're gonna have to tick off when we get there. So, you know, having this is almost like a built-in rest day would be kind of useful. So yeah, but I, I feel all right. I'm, you know, I'm a little bit tired, um, but mainly, you know, ready to go and get it done really and yeah it's raining apparently out there so that's going to be interesting i've not had rain at all really I've got brief spells but so the waterproof jacket might actually get a look in today for longer periods which would be good yeah so anyway I bet he's waiting down there so i better go and get myself ready get sorted and get out and let's go and get day 34 done and what's been Guess it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff We're off again. Day 34. <laughs> Marathon a day for 34 days sounds silly. <laughs> but we're going to go and do another one. It's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I got it day 34 just a really quick update and today was one of those days where 
the running was only really a sort of small part of the adventure today. Um, Milos met me this morning at, outside my hotel and we ran, well, it was supposed to be like a 25 kilometer. We actually ended up running a little bit further with only 20 miles in the end out of the town of Appertine. But then it's just one of those days where having someone local who knows the area to run with changes everything because he was able to guide me close to the river and take me through sections of the route that I, I probably wouldn't have found myself and or maybe wouldn't have had the confidence to go and explore and having him alongside you know it's just brilliant you know he knew you know, a few little sort of routes to take that were prettier he you know could feel safe but also just having the company it was just magic to be running with somebody and chatting and you know the miles just sort of tick over whilst you're having a conversation and at the same time, you know, I'm learning an, an awful lot about the countryside and the places that I'm moving through from Milos. She was brilliant in explaining to me so many things about the Danube that I had no idea about. So many things about uh, Serbia. You know, for, for days and days and days, I've been running along main roads and they've got these perfect sort of circle, sort of holes, almost like the size of a can of Coke cut into them. And I've been wondering what on earth they are that... It, you know, they're, they're perfect holes, so they're, they're clearly sort of man-made or there's something. And it turns out that these are essentially holes that they can put explosives in and blow up the roads in the event of war. <laughs> so they can do it quickly, um, which is just incredible facts that you don't get unless you're running with somebody who, who you know, is, is local. You know, he pointed out bits of the Danube that would normally be underwater because this water at the current moment is so low. You've got these islands or these little bits that appear. They would form, they would be sort of submerged and now they've, they've been like that for so long that there's quite a lot of growth on them. So there's sort of lots of kind of greenery growing up out of them. They look like islands, but normally you don't see them. Um, talked to me about the kind of wildlife, about the kind of wild boars and other things that you might encounter. And it was, it was magic. And then we finished the run and the run was great. It was fairly easy. We put in some really good miles. I clipped along at a decent pace, good momentum, you know, through lovely countryside and got it done in a good time. But then afterwards we headed back to Milos's house. And from the moment I arrived back here, his family and him have just been the most generous people. They've given me Give me a beautiful meal with chicken soup, chicken noodle soup, homemade, and this homemade um, sort of Serbian cheese pie, which was his grandma made, that was knockout, <laughs> um, and just what you need. Followed that up with there was cake and loads of fresh fruit, there was fresh fruit juices, cheese and meats, and we went and picked raspberries from their vines. They have a big kind of field of. of of raspberries that's one of the things that they grow and we went out and just picked a bowl and ate them as the sun went down um had this fresh raspberry juice that they make from them jams you know it was it was just amazing had, had a chance to go and have a little nap and a lie down they've washed all my clothes so i've got clean kit for tomorrow and it just made me feel like a part of the family for a day it, i'm so far from home and I'm in the middle of nowhere and I've met somebody who found me via Instagram who's just come out and being generous and kind and made me feel like I belong. And that's really what this run is all about to a certain extent. It's just, you know, I wanted to, to have that where you sort of, I wanted to be able to show myself that and, and other people basically that across Europe, it doesn't really matter. We've got different cultures, different flags, different nationalities you know different backgrounds but the, if you move through it in the right way with the right spirit that you can encounter people that show that we all have one thing in common that's a kind of a, a generosity and a kindness and a, and a and a humanity that i've been shown here today and it's it's beyond what i think i would ever experience in in england it's different it's just different here in serbia it's it's a different level of open arms that I think there's definitely something that we could all kind of learn from it back in the UK that, you know, I, I count me in this, but we're all quite, you know, it's, 
we're not necessarily as quick to kind of just invite people in and, and be that generous, I think, anyway. I, I think we, we, we warm over time, but it takes a little while. But um, this is this is something that here they just do it. It's just natural to them. And it's been wonderful. It's been truly wonderful. So, yeah, I've, I've you know, had a cracking day. And I, I feel sort of now ready to go and take on Hungary, but also a bit sad to be leaving Serbia. I'm running well. I'm moving well. I've had a fantastic time in Serbia. It's transformed the way that I feel from when I arrive to when I leave about this whole run. And that's all down to the people that I've encountered, really. So, yeah. Just a massive thanks to Serbia and to Milos and his family. And um, yeah, tomorrow we run the last 10 miles of Serbia across the border to Hungary and on to our, a new country. So anyway, it's late. I better get some sleep. I'm keeping everyone awake, talking, rambling into my phone. So anyway, I will speak to you guys again tomorrow.